Hello. Are we having a good night? Yes. So this is the headline news. And um, the big story this week is the high-speed rail line. that uh, David Cameron has said this week that they must cut costs on it. It's called HS2. Uh, HS2 is the sequel. <laughs> HS2, this time it's personal. Uh, now, if you don't know what HS2 is going to do, it's very exciting. What it's going to do is it's going to cut travel time to Birmingham by 20 minutes. Yes, yes for a cost of £42.6 billion. Pounds. <laughs> now, I'm not sure I want 20 minutes extra in Birmingham for free. <laughs> I mean, if you want 20 minutes extra in Birmingham, here's a suggestion. Get up 20 minutes earlier and save yourself £42.6 billion. Pounds. <laughs> Right, this railway is not going to be ready until 2026. I mean, I don't know anyone that is planning a meeting in Birmingham with that much advance. You're right, Steve, do you want to meet in Birmingham on the 4th of April, 2026, at 1pm? Better than that, Brian. I'll meet you there at 12.40. <laughs> they said the upgrading, right? If they, if they don't build the line, the upgrading of the old line is going to cause chaos including the route between Huntington and Peterborough going up to an hour at weekends. <laughs> Give a shit. <laughs> the only person that travels on that route is the driver. <laughs> I mean, he, he doesn't even need a train. He just needs one of those things. That's all he needs. I mean, if we're going to spend money on the train, spend it on things we need, like toilets that you can flush at a station. <laughs> Yeah, or an on-train magazine that isn't the shittest thing you have ever read in your life. <laughs> oh, the top ten restaurants in crew. <laughs> or, here's an idea, a door that has a handle on the inside as well as the outside. Because <laughs> I don't know if anyone's told the train companies that's not how doors work. The only other people that open doors like that are car thieves. <laughs> but they say, right, they haven't started it. It has already gone £10 billion over budget. How is this? I mean, that is unacceptable. That's not just someone who's failed to carry the one. I mean, <laughs> I mean that is not acceptable. If your builder came back from B&Q and went, well, I've got the supplies, um, bit of an issue. <laughs> I've gone £10 billion over budget. <laughs> Do you want me to continue? Well, are you going to cut 20 seconds off my journey from the kitchen to the living room? <laughs> By 2026? <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> to keep the cost down, what they've done, they've got in uh, Sir David Higgins, right, is the man who kept the cost down on the Olympics. But my understanding of how they saved money in the Olympics is they sold the stadium to West Ham United. Now, you can't do that with HS2 when it goes over budget. West Ham aren't going to buy that and go, God, I can't wait for the fixture list to come out. Birmingham away. <laughs> Think I'll have a lie-in for 20 minutes that day. <laughs> it's interesting, the route is going to go... There, there's people obviously pissed off that it's going to go near the house. My favourite is um, it's genuinely going through the garden, the route of the, the train, of David Cameron's cousin, Tilly May. Now, that is a revenge hit, isn't it? <laughs> that is a man who's gone, socks for Christmas again. <laughs> yeah, what have I got you? A f***ing train. <laughs> Three a patio, love. <laughs> I like the idea that the whole route is just him settling scores. <laughs> this is an artist's impression of Nick Clegg's garden in 2026. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they say, right, uh, that um, if they don't build HS2, then the future of the North is at risk. I mean, that is a pretty extreme measure, isn't it? They can't discontinue the North. <laughs> I mean, I don't care if it hasn't got a train track. You can't shut it down. It's, it's not Woolworths. It's not as classy as Woolworths for a start. I mean, I mean it's a 40 years' time, your grandchildren aren't going to go, what was it like when you were young? Well, we, son, had a thing called the North. <laughs> What was it like? Exactly like this. Only everyone wore flat caps and wouldn't shut the f*** up about the stone roses. 